What's going on guys, John Elder here from Codemy.com and in this video, I wanna to talk to you about my new series called Build a Resume Website with All right guys, in this video, I wanna talk about the new series I'm about to release here on YouTube called Build a Resume Website with, where we're gonna build a simple resume website using lots of different web technologies. So we'll build one with Node, we'll build one with Django, we'll build one with Python. But before we get started, if you like this video, and want to see more like it, be sure to smash the like button below, subscribe to the channel, and be sure to check out Codemy.com where I have dozens of courses with hundreds of videos that teach you to code. Use coupon code YouTube to get $22 off membership. That's all my courses, videos, and books for a one-time fee of just $27, which is insanely cheap. All right, so one of the questions I get asked all the time, like every single day is, I want to be a web developer, what should I learn? And it's just not that easy to answer that question because there are dozens of different types of web developers. There's a Python Django web developer. There's a Ruby on Rails web developer. There's a Node web developer. There's a front end web developer. There's a back end web developer. It really just depends on what sort of technologies you like to use and what you want to specialize in. And it also kind of depends on what companies in your area are hiring for right now. You know, there may be a bunch of Ruby on Rails jobs available right now and nothing else. There may be a bunch of Python Django jobs available and nothing else. There may be more generic jobs like front end web developer. Well, what does that mean? So it's not just as easy as me saying you should learn this and this. Uh, it really just depends. And with this new series I'm about to release, I'm going to sort of break down all of the different types of sort of common stacks out there. So we're going to do Ruby on Rails. We're going to do Django and Python. We're going to do Node and JavaScript. We're going to do PHP. We're going to do just basic HTML and on and on. And we're going to build the same thing every time with different sets of technology stacks. So it'd be very cool to see what's involved with sort of each one. So this is what we're going to be building, just a very, very basic resume website. You know, I got a little picture and some text and, you know, key skills and stuff. And we're going to use an actual free template um, that you can download and use to do this. And this is cool because it'll show us, you know, allow us to see how to use any template. So if you don't like this specific template, no big deal. You can go out and find a different template for free or you can pay, you know, 10 or 15 bucks to buy one somewhere and you'll know how to use it uh, just by watching these videos. And so. The first one we're gonna do that should come out tomorrow or the next day is Node and JavaScript. We're gonna build this website from start to finish. So I'm gonna show you absolutely everything, setting up all the tools that you need, using the tools that you need, creating the actual website, pushing it online and making it live, getting an actual domain name so you can point to it. So you can have, you know, bobsmithresume.com or whatever and, uh, and, and have that. So, you know, if you're trying to get hired as a web developer, you're gonna need a resume and it's you know silly not to have your own website with your resume on it. If you're trying to get a job as a web developer and you don't have your own website, that's just you know kind of weird. So uh, this sort of you know kills two birds with one stone, allows you to learn how to build a simple website, get your resume out there, and also take a look at different stacks, different technology stacks, and what's involved in each one. So if you've always sort of thought maybe you might like Node, but you're not quite sure what's involved with Node, this will be great. Same thing for Django, same thing for Ruby on Rails, same thing for all the different technologies we're gonna be using throughout this uh, series, and it should be a lot of fun. So if you have something specific that you'd like to see in this, in this series, a specific set of technologies, some obscure thing that maybe I, I might not be covering, just let me know in the comments below and I'll try and include those if I can. Uh, otherwise, uh, stay tuned, smash the like button, subscribe, so you get notified, smash the little bell thing so you get notified whenever I launch new ones. I'm gonna be trying to do at least one of these a week and these are gonna be long videos, half hour to an hour long each. It's just gonna be one long shot of installing all the tools, building out the website. And part of building out the website will be easy because we're gonna be using the same template for every single one of these videos, right? So we'll need to customize it a little bit, obviously. And I'll show you how. But as far as actually building the thing out, it's going to be pretty simple. Most of the, the heavy lifting is going to be done for us. And these days, really, you're not often building websites from scratch. You're almost always using a template of some sort, whether it's a basic HTML template like this or a WordPress template or something you know similar. Uh, hardly anybody actually builds things from the ground up. You 
quite often we'll take a template and then customize it to make it look unique, but you're still using the template as the foundation of the thing. Otherwise, you know, it just takes months and months to build websites. If you use a template, it could take five minutes. So that's what people do for the most part. And that's what we're going to do in this series. So uh, I think you'll find it interesting uh, if you aren't familiar with lots of different stacks, lots of different technologies. This will be great. You'll be familiar. I'm not going to be teaching the technology. I'm not going to be teaching you Ruby on Rails. I'm not going to be teaching you Django. I'm not going to be teaching you Node. I'm just going to use those things to build a website. And along the way, you'll be able to see me step by step build it. But I'm not going to specifically in depth explain what I'm doing, right? So I have tons of courses on each of those different sets of technologies. If, if you're interested in learning them in more depth, check out my website, codemy.com. You can, you know, drill down as intricate as you want and learn as much as you want about those things in those separate courses. You know, it could take uh, 20, 30, 40 videos to learn even the basics of, for instance, Ruby on Rails. I'm not going to be able to talk about everything in these videos. These videos are more just to sort of uh, get your feet wet, show you sort of what's involved, give you a, a sort of basic understanding of the technologies and what you can expect if you want to go and then learn more about them. This is a great uh, place to start, I think. So that's all for this video. If you liked it, be sure to smash the like button below, subscribe to the channel, and check out codemy.com where you can use coupon code YouTube to get $22 off membership. You pay just $27 to access all my courses, hundreds of videos, and the PDFs of all my best-selling coding books. Join over 50,000 students learning to code. My name is John Elder from codemy.com, and we'll see you in the next video.